Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is an interactive video about how to factor linear expressions. So for the first page, you're going to take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own. And at the end, you can see how you did. Alright, so first of all, before we learn how to factor linear expressions, let's go over just again what is a factor. Alright? So factors are basically multiplied together to get a product. Um, so let's write that down. So factors are multiplied together. To make a product. All right. So let's say we wanted to list the factors of say the numbers 20, right? Well, we have to say to ourselves what times what gives us 20. And we could say, uh, I don't know, how about 5 and 4? So 5 and 4 are factors of 20. We could also could say uh, 2 and 10. Those are factors of 20. Uh, we could also say 1 and 20, right? 1 times 20 itself are also factors of 20. All right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to factoring a linear expression. Now, 10x plus 15, that's a linear expression. And the way you do this is you first look at the coefficients, right? The, the 10 and the 15. And you say, what's the greatest common factor for the GCF of 10 and 15? So that answer is going to be 5. So 5 is the greatest common factor. And then what you do is you draw parentheses. And because we have a plus sign here, we're going to put a plus in the middle. And you say 5 times what gives us 10x. So 5 times 2x, that will give us 10x. And then we say 5 times what gives us 15, and that's 3. And guess what? We just factored this linear expression. Because 5 times 2x plus 3 gives us 10x plus 15. Now the way you can tell if it's right or wrong is you can actually use the distributive property right, to multiply these two expressions. So let's, let's double check it. Let me use a different color here. So 5 times 2x, that's 10x. And then plus 5 times 3, that gives us 15. And guess what? That's our original expression, which is right here. All right? So let's do a few more. So here we have 4x plus 6. So again, step number one, you want to find the greatest common factor of 4 and 6. And that number is 2. And then we're going to put a plus sign right here. And now we say 2 times what gives me the 4x, and that's going to be a 2x. And then 2 times what gives me the 6, and that's 3. And there's our answer. 2 times 2x plus 3 uh, is, is what we wanted. All right, finally we have one that's a little bit different. Now we have 9x take away 12. So notice, we now have a subtraction sign here. So we put a subtraction sign right there. But the process is the same. So we want to find the GCF of 9 and 12, which is 3. So I'm going to put a 3 on the outside. Now I'm going to say 3 times what gives us 9x, and that's going to be 3x. And then 3 times what gives us 12, and that's 4. And guess what? We just factored another linear expression. It's 3 times 3x minus 4. So basically, when you factor these, it's basically kind of like doing the, the distributive property, but just backwards. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do these practice problems. So our first expression is 9x plus 18. So the greatest common factor of 9 and 18 is 9 itself. So it's going to be 9 times. I'm going to put a plus sign here. So 9 times x gives us 9x, and then 9 times 2 gives us 18, so it's going to be 9 times x plus 2. All right, the next one, 5x plus 30. Well, the GCF of 5 and 30 is 5, so it's going to be 5 times, again, draw parentheses with a plus, so 5 times x, because 5 times x is 5x, and then 5 times 6 will give us 30. All right, the next one, we have 4 and 2. But again, this time, we're going to have a parentheses with a subtraction sign here. So the GCF of 4 and 2 is 2. And now 2 times, let's see, 2x is going to be 4x. And then 2 times 1 will give us the 2. So it's going to be 2 times 2x minus 1. That's our factored expression. And then finally, 12x minus 18. So again, I'm going to draw another set of parentheses 
with this attraction sign. And then the greatest common factor of 12 and 18 is 6. So it's going to be 6 times, so it's going to be 2x, and then minus 3. Because 6 times 2x gives us 12x, and then 6 times negative 3 gives us the negative 18. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?